I want to say something. And even after saying this, I know that there are going to be some people that are just going to do whatever they want to do. We all are going to die one day. Maybe one day soon. What is going to happen to everything that you have? It is going to be passed on to some other people. For many of us, there are many things that we don't use. Myself, I had about 10 or more pairs of shoes. Shoes I have not worn or brand new shoes <laughs> that I never worn. And I was thinking, If I die now, will I receive credit for giving away these shoes for free? Because those shoes are going to another person. Once I die, even if everyone dies at one time, I can't take my shoes with me. I can't take those Timberlands or those other types of shoes with me. So I gave them away. I gave away, I believe I told you all that I used to go to bars and clubs and I used to waste my money on clothes and expensive clothes and shoes and all that dumb stuff there. I gave that stuff away for free. I don't want anything to do with that stuff there. I believe I told you all about these hurricanes and floods and all that stuff there. We are going to reap whatever we sow. Those people lost so much where if they would have gave away 10% or 20% of what they had, they would have reaped what they have sown. But now, all of that stuff now is trash. Well, Kevin, I don't think the same thing is going to happen to me. How do you know that? I believe in many of these places, they did not know that they were going to lose everything. Don't you want credit? Listen. If you plan on going to heaven, we are going to be rewarded based upon the things that we have done on this earth. Things what we have done, said, thought, so on and so on. Why not get, let me say this, what we do on earth, we are going to be rewarded much more than what we do on earth. So what you are giving out, God is going to reward you more than what you put in. What you give out, what you do, you are going to be rewarded much more than what you have done or said. If you die now, where are all the things that you have? Where is it going to go? To another person, other people, or it is going to be destroyed. 
Why not get credit for it now? Why not? You only, you are going to be rewarded for what you do on earth. And if you get to heaven, you are going to be rewarded in heaven as well. You want more good things to happen to you. You want God to intervene in your life much more. These are simple ways on how to get blessed by God. Simple ways. We have things, many of us have things that we have not used for years. And we don't plan on using them. Why not give them away for free? Why not help other people? Look, I am not saying that you have to give all your money away to people. I am not saying that. It is going to get to the point where our money is not going to be worth anything. So people who are saving thousands and millions of dollars, why? Why not give and help other people with that money? How things are now, how the world is going to war and all this stuff here, why not use your money to help others while your money is worth something? Because once the mark of the beast come in effect, if you are not going to take that mark, you lose everything. <laughs> so this is the wrong time to save. I am not saying to give away everything. It is a good thing if you do, but I am not saying that. Give a partial amount of that saved money to people in need. We have no idea about the great things that we are going to receive in heaven for the minor things that we have done on this earth. We have no idea. My Lord. If you all listen, look, I research <laughs> about God pretty much all day, every day. I listen to teachings so much. My mind is focused on God. So many more things I can tell you. These are simple ways on how to get blessed by God. Simple ways. All the disasters that are happening now, but you are still trying to save up a bunch of money. I pray that this makes sense. You are going to reap what you sow on this earth and if you get to heaven, you are going to reap there as well. And you are going to reap much more than what you put in. This is why I try to get other people to help me in the ministry that I am in now, where I give things for free, Bibles, clothes, shoes, and all that stuff there. I am not looking for a profit and doing that because I know what the Bible says. I know that I am going to benefit much more by giving things for free than to charge anything from anyone. I am preparing for my life in heaven, not on this earth. I don't care about this earth. 
I am waiting, to be quite honest with you, I am waiting for this earth to be destroyed. My Lord. You are listening to a person that spends pretty much all his time researching about God, trying to learn more and more about God. The more that you seek God, the more you are going to see how simple his concepts are, how life is really supposed to be. And I am telling you of hours and days and months of research, I am condensing everything in a small package to you, saving you much time and telling you how to get so far in God. And I am not saying that I know everything because I don't. But much in the Bible, it is telling you to give. If God is telling you to do something, don't you think God is going to give you something back for doing what he is telling you to do? When God is telling you to give up something or to do something, there is a reward every time. There is a reward every time. God is never going to tell you to give up something or to do something and not give you anything for doing what he is telling you to do. Obedience. You are going to reap what you sow. I pray that this makes sense. I am trying to tell you, if I had more money, I would help much more people. I believe I am doing really well now with helping others, but I want to do much more. I want to do something where I can feed like homeless people and give them a home and all this stuff here. Well, Kevin, you know, the homeless people should work. That is not the point. The point is to help people. It doesn't matter. Look, 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 look. A person can be able to work. Let's say that there is a person that is so lazy, that is not willing to work or take care of their family. The earthly mindset would say, well, I am not going to help this person because this person is just lazy. That is not the point. The point is to help people in need, whether they are lazy, hurt, old, whatever. Getting blessed by God is not hard. Being blessed by God doesn't mean that you are going to be rich or you are going to have 20 cars. No. That is what many churches may make you think. Being blessed by God doesn't mean that you are going to get all those things. Because what is the point in being rich if you are cursed with cancer? Or you have this illness where you can barely move. What good is your money if you can't enjoy it? So how are you blessed by God when you have cancer? But hey, you have so much money. What? I pray that this makes sense. Please do as I ask. And once you die, 
And if you get to heaven, you are going to be thankful for doing what I ask. Help people in need. There are many people in your hometown that need help. Help them in some type of way or form. Please, easy ways to get blessed by God. This is what God wants us to do, to help everyone, whether they are in sin or if they are serving God. It doesn't matter. Easy, easy stuff. Even if you believe that you don't have much, look, I don't have much, believe me. I don't have much of anything, <laughs> but I give the little that I have. I may not have as much money as you, but I give the little that I have. I may not be able to give everything, but I can give a percentage of what I make, even if it is not much. Yes, I may not be able to buy a new pair of shoes, but let me give that money or a part of that money to help a person in need. Let me sacrifice my wants for a need. My Lord. Well, Kevin, you know, I want to look real nice and, you know, I want people to smile at me and stuff like that. Are you serious? Oh, my Lord. Please think in a supernatural way, in a spiritual way. We are not going to be here long. And I pray that it is much shorter than that. So I pray that this makes sense. Please do the simple stuff, man. This is simple, simple ways to get blessed. Because when you die, everything you have is going to another person anyway. So all of this saving and all that stuff there is just a waste. A waste of resources that can help another person. Let me stop here. God bless you.